Hey everybody, uh, I got a trio of silver dollars to show today and uh, really excited about these because these are some of the earliest silver dollars that the United States produced. Um, so there's three, three dollars that I'll show you today. Um, the first is this one here, which is the flowing hair design. And they, these were first struck in uh, 1794 and they only made a couple thousand of them and today those are some of the most valuable U.S. coins that, that you can buy. Um, you know, there are, even the, the worst ones are many tens of thousands of dollars and they go up to millions of dollars. Um, the 1795, they actually made a decent number. They made a, about 160,000 of them. Um, but just since they're so collectible and so sought after, uh, the prices are still pretty high. Um, so, this, you know, they tend to be a few thousand dollars each at least. This one's really nice. It has great color to it and the surfaces don't look like they've ever been cleaned or anything like that. Um, you can see it has what's called the small eagle on the reverse and you'll see how they changed the reverse design later in, uh, in 1795 um, in just a second. So in 1795 they changed the design from the flowing hair to uh, what's called the drape bust obverse and these were produced from 1795 all the way until 1804, so about a 10 year run. Now the 1804 is a real kind of le legendary coin um, in American numismatics where there's only a little bit more than a dozen known and they're all millions of dollars and um, just been uh, you know written about in many different books and all kinds of things. Um, but the 1795 drape bust they made about um, just under 43,000. This coin has unfortunately been uh, holed and plugged, so it was a part of a piece of jewelry. Um, and you can see that they still kept pretty much the same reverse design, so it still has that small eagle to it. Um, and uh, they minted it with the small eagle design for uh, another three years. So this is the third type. Um, that the United States produced. This is uh, still has the drape bust obverse, but as I mentioned, they made it the drape bust obverse with this small eagle on the reverse from uh, 1795 to 1798. And then in 1798, midway through the year, they switched over to what's called the heraldic eagle reverse, um, or sometimes just called large eagle. And um, I'll show you that in a second, but you can see this, this is an 1800 um, piece and they made uh, just under 221,000 of these this, that year. This is a really nice coin that has gorgeous um, uh, original color and surfaces to it, uh, never been cleaned and um, probably like a really nice XF or a, a, a high-end very fine. So here you can see the uh, the large eagle reverse or the heraldic eagle and um, You'll notice that these coins look like they're much more worn in the middle than they are towards the edge. But uh, that's actually just because um, the middles of these coins weren't just, they weren't struck as sharply uh, as the edges were. Um, you know, they were working with much earlier technology. These were made on what's called a screw press and they just had a hard time getting a full strike in the center of the coin. Uh, so, um, and interestingly, they were also struck without a collar, um, meaning uh, one, as the coin was being struck, it didn't have anything to keep it in its perfect coin shape. Um, it, so they smushed out and they're not all exactly the same size and some of them are very, very slightly um, oblong. They're, you know, they're like a very slight oval type shape because they didn't have a collar to keep the coin contained. So thanks for watching the video, guys. Hope this was helpful.